And then the ram happened, and I was like, yeah, bye bye. <laughs> and then you logged on me, so um, I'm gonna count that as a victory for me. Yeah, Oddball logged on me. Uh, GG. Hi, this is 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Legacy version. Uh, this is the version on Xbox that I play, but you can play the Legacy version on PC or on PlayStation as well as Xbox. And uh, so therefore it's the inclusive version of Elite Dangerous, unlike that bigoted version that's called uh, Odyssey, which is only available to the Master Race and no one else. Um, I wonder if that joke will get me struck off on YouTube. but. Uh, yeah, we play the Legacy version on Xbox, which I still think is the best space sim available on Xbox and is still a fully playable game. We just don't have the running around on foot stuff that you get in Odyssey. And also, we're not under massive Thargoid invasion. We're kind of like we're the version of the game that uh, beat the Thargoids and they branched off into the version that just got completely screwed over by the Thargoids. That's the way I'm seeing it anyway. Um, well, a better answer to that question is, did I combat log? No, I didn't. Don't worry. Watch the full video to the end and you'll understand what happened and why me and Oman are making jokes about me combat logging to everyone that joined party afterwards. Uh, we joked with Owl about this. We joked with um, oh, just anyone who joined party for a while about this. We were just laughing our butts off because it, the timing was just so weirdly perfect. Um, this is a ridiculously drawn out fight between Ganker and Pirate. So Oman came to attack me in Sol, I'm in the Bad Penny which is my crate pirate ship. He's in his crate phantom phasing ship, he does absolute menaces my hull um, in this fight. Um, but he didn't do too much damage to my shields, the, the Vaz um, ship build that I used uh, held up pretty damn well. Um, and so well that Oman man thought I had um, prismatic shields on this thing which is great there's a bit in this fight later on when I'm I know he's out of shield banks and I'm just banking to flex because I don't need to I've still got two rings left but I just thought I I would while he was looking at me because he doesn't have any bank cancellers um, and yeah I was really amazed how little banks I had to use but mostly that's down to the fact that I'm in a very simple point and click build I've got uh, three multi cannons and a missile rack and um, yeah all I have to do is keep four pips two shields as you can see I'm doing that um, the multi cannons well they don't use any distro draw really on this thing and um, it's very easy to go 4-1-1 or 4 2 zero if you really want to maneuver a bit and just you know constantly just keep that four pips just a little bit of Reverse key, maneuvering, ranging, la la la. It's really easy. Whereas he's got the hard job. He's got to try and hit me with point and click fixed weapons through a cloud of just really annoying missile fire. Um, I thought I had drag, but I actually have overload munitions on this at the moment. That wasn't deliberate. That was just me probably putting the wrong missile rack on there when I went back to my carrier. Because I, I do switch this ship up. When I'm doing... Uh, power play stuff in it. I'll have an all laser build because you know no ammo issues when doing PvE combat for hour upon hour grinding out merits. Um, but when I switch it to a pirate ship, I'm, I can use the multi cannons, which I do prefer because I love a bit of daka daka. Who doesn't like multi cannons? They're just so much fun. Um, you know, it does tempt me. I get tempted all the time to build an all multi cannon gunship again because. And that amount of Daka Daka is really fun, and that ship's so bad, it's just fun. Um, but yeah, I um, I kind of enjoyed this fight. It was um, it was a bit of a weird one because like it's a pirate ship versus a gank ship. Uh, you know, I'm I fired Hatchbreaker Limpers at him, and I've got Collector Limpers out to remind him that I'm in a pirate ship. This is me getting my excuses in early, so when I lose. I can point to the fact that, well, I was only in a pirate ship. You know, your ship is way stronger than mine, got way more armor than mine. Um, but oddly, I've got pretty strong shields on there, and I still have a shield cell bank. Um, and, you know, the armor is not normally a problem uh, because I'm normally just pirating traders at this. But, yeah, 
I was conscious of the fact that if we were both with no arm, uh, with no shields, I could not ram him at all. However, if he had no shields, I would straight go for the ram. Because this ship's still quite heavy, I didn't ditch my cargo, so I've actually got a full cargo rack at the moment full of limpets, um, which means that I'm, you know, quite hefty uh, for the rams, so that's quite handy. And this ship's still reasonably fast, even with a full cargo rack. I don't, I can't remember if I did dump or not dump my cargo, because sometimes when you're in these sort of fights, it's like I just want to maneuver a bit quicker. So maybe it's worth dumping the cargo. But I, I can't even remember if I did that or not. The fight went on so long, I can't even remember what happened. It was literally like 26 minutes of the most sweaty thing possible. I do remember that Alara was trying to talk to me about um, Avatar 2 um, and his recommendation that you definitely go see that at the cinema in party chat. Um, <laughs> but that was about... Yeah, that's... It was quite towards the end of this fight where it was getting a little bit like... Ooh, <laughs> this is interesting. I want to concentrate on this, and um, yeah. So I, I did ask Lara if I could just like concentrate on the fight for a moment, which is very unusual for me. Normally, I like I just let people party chat, and I, I can shut it out while I'm concentrating on fighting or not, or like I can carry on a conversation and do PvP quite often. But sometimes, you know, like you know, it's it's rare that we one v one. Uh, a PvP ship in a pirate ship and actually win. So it's you know when that sort of thing's looking like it might happen, you know I'm I might as well pay attention and see if I can get that to become a thing. Uh, and I was conscious that my hull have taken a decent amount of damage. And uh, yeah, and like I say, I'm I'm in an easy mode ship. It's all gimbaled. It's very simplistic. He's trying to do something that takes a lot more skill. So, you know, I'm taking nothing away from my opponent here. He's got a much harder job, especially with the fact that I've got all those cloud of missiles coming at him, blocking his vision, making it easy for him to miss. Uh, though I did get away with reloading way more than I should have been able to. You can see I've already had to reload my multi-cannons. So, I mean, that is quite a tough, durable phantom that I'm up against. And, uh, yeah, it was always going to be a bit of an interesting fight. What I was surprised about is that I actually had a few heat management issues in over exciting times. Um, I may possibly have held the trigger down way too long and melted myself a little a wee bit as well. Um, but, you know, it was an interesting fight and it was a lot of fun. And I kept simping and simping and simping and he kept dropping off my radar and as he was firing out he sings his presume and chaffing and etc. Yeah, it was quite interesting. It was the longest fight I've had in a medium in a long, long time. And, uh, I, yeah, I got rather overexcitable in this one. Um, she's unusual. I don't normally... Normally when someone attacks me in a pirate ship, I'm pretty much just trying to put up a show and then leave. I'm not ever thinking, you know, about winning. I'm just like, okay, I'll put up a little bit of a fight. Depending on who it is. If it's Flipper Gold... I will put poor pips to shields, type, no cargo, free to go, and then jump away. That's that's basically how I deal with that, because there's no way I'm fighting him in a pirate ship. Um, you know, I'll fight him 1v1 in one of my combat ships and lose within five minutes every time. i got no problem with that, that's, you know, but in one of my pirate ships, he'll just speed run me so quickly. That guy never misses. Um, you know, even when I'm hitting him with missiles in the face. Even when he's flying sideways at full speed, he still hits me with rail guns, and I still have no idea how. Um, you know, but then, you know, those sort of pilots uh, are a different breed. Uh, this was just a fun fight between member of TSC, member of DMPS. Uh, you know, killing time in Seoul, waiting for people to turn up that we could actually pirate and fight. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll take the compliment that. I'm an act thought I had prismatics on this, but um, it shows that the Vans Biweave build that I did it worked wonders. And uh, yeah, maybe one day I'll I'll do something better with the um, PvP Plasmac uh, Phantom that I've built. Because it's kind of not working as an old B rated heavy as hell ship. Um, so I might have to re engineer that and actually 
make it into a decent PvP build. Uh, I don't know. But overall, the P P Penny has not let me down at all. Uh, it is the most survival of my pirate ships by a long way. Uh, my new pirate ship that I'm building is definitely not going to be as durable um, by any stretch of the imagination, though it is going to be sillier. Uh, the, I mean, the Ban Penny is my least silly pirate ship, and as I don't have a cutter or a large pirate ship, it is my most durable and powerful pirate ship by a long way. In all honesty, though, that's just testament to how bad the rest of my pirate ships are when it comes to PvP. Um, but then they're pirate ships, they're not designed for PvP fights. They're designed to slip in, nick a bit of cargo and slip away. Or, in a lot of cases, lull the person into a full sense of security into the fact that they think they can smash me, so they start shooting at me, and then realise that I've hatch-breaked them a few times and all their cargo is spilling out, and then they have to decide whether they want to lose more cargo or do they want to jump out and let me sit there and scoop up the remains. Um, I better actually talk about the fight. So at this point, uh, Oman realised that things were going badly um, and he was kind of like deciding what to do or to go all in and just carry on fighting or slip away. He thought he'd go for one last joust and uh, we had uh, an almighty ramage happen soon. And uh, that pretty much dissuade him from there. As you can see, he, I was lucky enough that he did leave me alone long enough that I could send some more ammo. Um, so, you know, his ship is definitely a tough one. I had to use a lot of ammo. Um, and it was, like, it was probably, uh, you know, a, it was a lot of multi-cannon and a lot of gimbal scrubbiness. And, uh, yeah then there was a hefty ram on top and uh, next thing I know he's jumping out and he was so intent on jumping out and also I don't know what happened on his screen because obviously on, on what happens to me coming up uh, would leave my ship on his screen for a little while before it vanished uh, but it wasn't a log it, it was in fact a buzz crash which I'll show you now but it doesn't stop us joking about it being a log. And uh, it was all fun and GG's. And I, I would have loved to have seen what happened. If he'd have noticed and recorded it, I'd have loved to see his view of it. Anyway, I'll leave Kevin Spacey to do his thing and say that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this clip. He's gone. You logged? Oddball logged on me. Oh dear. Too late. I've already sent the video to Ragnar Scott and Bait. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'd only I'd waked out and then I got a message from you <laughs> that was like GG, I buzz crashed, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Don't party. No no, see I low waked and then you didn't chase me and I was like, why hasn't he chased me?